I'm presented with a big Spencer Gulf Hiramasa Kingfish, immediately I think raw. I mean, the Japanese believe if a fish is fresh enough to be eaten raw, well, it should be. Ultimately, that fish is so fresh and so delicious, I want to do it justice. This kingfish is a very powerful fish, and you know, they're swimming now at you know, six and a half kilos. Something so powerful, it's surprising how, with the right talent and techniques and and care, you can break it down to be something that's so so delicate and creamy and delicious, just melts in your mouth. For me, as a chef, that's that's the beauty of, of what I do. And every step of the way, I'm wanting to handle this gorgeous piece of fish with, with the most respect I can I can I can offer. It's rigid, it's so it's so fresh. So immediately I've thought, well, I'm not gonna scale this the traditional whale. It's fresh enough for me to take the scales off with a knife. If you scale normally, you're putting pressure on the flesh and you can sometimes bruise the flesh. So taking the scales off with, with a sharp knife reduces the bruising. As I'm filleting it, I'm realizing, you know, one edge, one side of the fish is gonna be rich and creamy and oily, and the other side's gonna be nice and firm but still, you know, very tender. So in my mind I'm thinking I'm gonna do a sashimi plate or a sushi plate. What I love about sushi is if you think about your palate in your mouth, your taste buds are sweet, sour, salty, and hot. So if you can offer all those elements on one bite, you know, half the job's done. So that's what I'm hoping to give on every piece is sweet, sour, salty, and a little bit of heat. The canvas is the kingfish, and I'm just adding all the little colors. I want to highlight each part of the fish. So the, the oily belly sides I'm going to sear blowtorch, a bit, of, a bit of heat, brings up the oil. A squeeze of lemon, a pinch of salt and some, some, some spice. A little heat from yuzukosho, it's gonna melt in the mouth. For me, that's the, first, that's the first piece I'd eat, that's the toro. The mid part, which is semi-oily, I'm just gonna finish with a bit of ginger and shallot, classic soy, soy glaze finish. And then the, um, the shoulder, I've made a, a little amaizu, which is a sweet vinegar refreshing cucumber to counteract a bit of jalapeno that's grated through that. So I think you've got a, three very distinct flavors from one incredible fish. I mean, that's why I love the Spencer Golf here in Massa Kingfish.